you know, you hear about tar and feathering and you kind of think of it as, well, what does that really mean? And I had a class this um, past semester where we were um, talking about loyalists and trying to bring home this idea of a civil war occurring concurrently with a colonial rebellion, that it genuinely, it genuinely was a civil war. Um, occurring, and that people, ordinary people like you and I, had to sit down around their dinner tables and make decisions. What are we going to do? Are we going with the rebels? Are we going to be loyalists? Um, are we going to try to stay neutral? And for many, um, that decision was taken out of their hands at the um, in the mid 1770s, prior to the fighting, when these various committees were formed to enforce the non-consumption um, uh, agreements, where Americans were essentially, they were consumer boycotts, saying we will not buy or use British products. Well, once that began, there had to be a mechanism for enforcement, and the final degree of enforcement could become something that we think of as tar and feathering, which could be anywhere from a mildly... Um, onerous experience to a near-death experience. Um, and so we looked at a couple of, of instances in primary sources describing a tar and feathering, a, a more severe case, where you're looking at a man who is pulled off the porch of his house. He's asked to sign the agreement, and he says, no, I'm not signing this agreement. You can't tell me what products to buy or not buy. Um, he's snatched off of his porch, dragged through town, and eventually is standing there as this pot of tar is heated to near boiling conditions and then lathered onto his body, um, creating severe burns, then the feathers for something of a comic effect to add to the humiliation. But in his case, the humiliation became secondary to the real injuries. Um, and if you had a full-blown tar and feathering with near boiling hot tar. Um, I don't remember any instances of deaths occurring. It wouldn't surprise me, but I do have seen in the sources several instances of serious injuries, scarring, blistering, peeling. Um, you're burning someone, essentially. And, um, and this is a crowd of people who were your neighbors for the most part. These are people who were your friends and neighbors who have now turned on you. Um, and when you think of it that way, I think it becomes much more real to think of this civil war concurrent with the colonial rebellion.